Oh, another video. I'm at the Kettle River Museum. So on Highway 3 here in Midway, BC. Just gonna do a tour. And it should be an interesting video. I've never been here myself. So let's get going. Midway, mile zero of the Kettle Valley Railway. Sorry for the traffic, but we are at a main highway. In 1910, a rail link pushed westward from Midway to transport the riches of the Kootenays boundary and the Zemilkameen to the coast via all Canadian route. Andrew McCulloch Engineering Marvel, the Kettle River Valley Railway across three mountain ranges traveling 500 kilometers and became the lifeline of the southern interior until abandoned after 60 years. Today the KVR, or sorry, the KVR, is reborn as part of the Trans-Canada Trail. A little bit of history for us there. Okay, let's proceed inside. I think she said there was five sections to it. And it's still uh, well into the COVID here. Delta variants kicking in and stuff, so everyone's still wearing masks. Well, remasking again. That's such is life. scale a lot of interesting stuff Old irons That's a bunch of paper mache. music classes. when people read books. Huckleberry Finn. Old uh, desks. A little small for me. Not a radio. Holly Crafters Radio. That old gas mask. <laughs> this must be, oh yeah. 
Civil Defense Canada. Right, World War I. World War II, maybe. Daily progress. Telephone. Well, telephones have come a long way. Hello, ma'am. Excuse me, can I get a ride? Oh, not much room. Okay, I'll walk. Machete. Looks like music was a big thing around these parts. Not much TV. these old tools. Everything was done by hand back in the day. No power tools. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe some sort of saddles. Oh yeah, blacksmith, blacksmith place. Old anvil, coal. Oh, it's not hot. It's not hot. We're good. For the next section. Oh, now we're outside. Wow. Uh, barbecue, I don't think that's uh, <laughs> part of the museum. Is that a lunch bell? Let's try it. <clears throat> oh, works good. Hand tools, lots of hand tools. Funky crescent wrench. Look at that power saw. Probably a two manner. Looks like someone held that in, then someone up the power in. Lots of saws. Plows for different purposes. Uh, I think this is a grinder of some sort, probably to make flour. I think it's a grinder. A mill. Yeah, probably a mill. There we go. 400 champion steel blower. Oh, it's a blower for the blacksmith. Oh, okay. Still works. Cool, cool. Uh, is this firefighting equipment? Or irrigation, maybe? Stove, 
wood stove. Look at that big trap. Ooh, ooh, that's a big leg hold. That is maybe some sort of light, some sort of light system. What does it say there? Chicken brooder. Oh, to keep the chickens warm or the chicks. So. Nice. More plows. Kind of farming equipment, cedar, uh, a rake, raker into rows. I remember some of this stuff when I was on the farm. Uh, not sure what the heck that is. Maybe some sort of a baler, a combine maybe. Combine and uh, a rough baler. What does this say here? Massey Harrison chain driven binder. Early binders were horse drawn. Yeah, we've come a long way. And this is probably some sort of a grinder or a cedar. What's this? Planter. A potato planter with a fertilizer attachment. Whoa, that must have been an, an option. Belt driven. Big safe. It's locked. Okay, I don't know the combination. I think this is the good old shit spreader. Yeah, I remember using these not this old but <laughs> fanning mill a lot of interesting stuff another primitive tractor of some sort another combine This is the good old uh, 16748FJ. And look at this fire truck. Look at that dually. Awesome. Let's see if we can look inside. Look at that. Has everything labeled? Wow. Not much room, but I guess you don't need much when you're heading to the fire. An old wooden ladder. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Village of Midway, volunteer fire department. Carry on. Let's see what else we can get into here. Not many people here, but I've drove by many times. Always plan to stop, and this is the opportunity I have. So, you gotta take your opportunities, right? I don't know if we can get in here, but. Let's see. No, nope, locked. Maybe the other end. Uh, 
I don't think we can get into this building. Employees only. Employees only. Well, let's go around the other side. Windmill. Hand pump. Let's go to where the train is. There's a train caboose on the other side. Kettle Valley Railway. Do not enter here. That's the old train station. Yep, Midway Station, 1900. Canada Pacific. Oh, we can go on this side. Let's check her out inside. The lady said it was quite interesting. Well, storage room, I guess. Look at that. Chairs up there. Let's go take a look. Should be a bit of a scenic view when you're traveling along. Nice, nice. A little kitchen area. Equipment list. Look at this. This is uh, what do you call it? Uh, Sip Railway Company transport report. Morse code. I'll have a large pineapple pizza. Extra topping. that big but I'm to hold about 15 people or something hold uh, just in a regular wood stove looks like where did they power this well this probably must not be the engine part it's just a one of the cars storage of some sort okay let's go into the midway train station excuse me sir just coming in to check things out yeah don't, don't mind moving stay where you're at Cook stove, dining area, another, I don't know if this is a, maybe it's a cream separator. Oh, the old washing machine. <laughs> yeah. 
washboard. Hello, sir. Just come take a little tour of your office. Hopefully you're not too busy. Well, this looks like, uh, what's this? Oliver. This is a farting, uh, must be the Mounties. Eh? British Columbia Provincial Police Boundary District, B Division, May 17th, 1926. Yep. The old uh, outpost, or whatever, for the, uh, well, it says Provincial Police before it went to RCMP, I guess. We've got the old British, I think it's the British, when we were still part of the Commonwealth thing. Interesting. Northern West, oh, Northwest Mounted Police was established in 1873, and in 1904 the name was changed to the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. Uniform. RCM, RCM, look at that, it says RCM Police, not RCMP, RCM Police Auxiliary. Now is that a water bottle or a flask for the brandy? This officially is a water bottle. Molded identification card, metal, there's a trunk. Breathalyzer. Oh, that's the old breathalyzer. Look at how old that is. I never even thought that far back they even cared if you were drunk. Here they got an old breathalyzer. Cool. And wanted posters. Stolen automobile. Murder. $2,500 reward. Yeah, for murder, 2,500 bucks if you can, for the murder. The government of uh, province of British Columbia hereby offer a reward of 2,500 for information that will lead to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who on the morning of the 10th day of June, 1920, shot and killed George Stanfield, provincial constable at his residence situated in Grand Forks, BC. Please wire collect either to the un undersign or to the chief provincial constable, Greenwood, BC. Looky there, eh? Cop killer. Look at the, uh, look at the old handcuffs. Uh, yeah, they look like ankle chains. Huge frickin' keys. Interesting. Sword, is that something they confiscate? Oh, that's, oh, they must have wore that. Probably decorative. The Iron Claw was a popular, was popular because of its reliability and ease of application even when the finish was weathered and worn. The IC would work as advertised. Hmm. Little type of writer. Gonna be a bit of a long video, but there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Tragedy along the line. One day in 1912, Joe took his wife and their little daughter, Josephine, by speeder to Greenwood. On the way, there was a tragic accident. They collided with an oncoming train. The collision killed his wife 
and Joe's right arm was severed. One-year-old Josephine was thrown clear of the wreck and found on the railway bank by the train's engineer. Lucky there, eh? Let's get another telegraph machine. Telephone. Smudge pot full of kerosene and a wick system burn under switch points on the railroad to keep the snow off them and the train running safe. Silverware. Yeah, they, they had some good uh, meals and stuff on the train, looks like. Probably better than they get nowadays on the average train. Shears, police, conductor's hat, log book. Stretcher, old time fire extinguisher, let's see what else we can look at. Another safe. That is some something that went on the train. Well, maybe that was you just pump it, sit on there, and just pump away and get yourself down the track, I guess, eventually. Train crew bunkhouse. Nearly all work on the railway meant spending ta some time being away from home. Crews often had little privacy in the bunkhouse, however, it was a place to sleep for train crews. They were equipped with a couple beds, a simple kitchen, and an outdoor toilet. So often boredom during long layovers periods was a problem. Conditions in these facilities improve slowly over the years. An old bunkhouse. Looks like they got power at some time. Very interesting. I don't know if we can get in on the other building over there. I'll take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at this old tractor. Massey Harris. Massey Harris. Lucky there. Pretty crude. Massey Harris four wheeler, four wheel tractor. Donated in 1978. It was a little better back in 
Explaining about the local vegetation. Help stop the spread of invasive plants. Let's see if we can get in here. Must be some uh, something not related to the museum, I guess. No entry. Well, I guess that's it for the tour of the Kettle River Museum. A lot of interesting stuff there. Hope you enjoyed it. Off to Greenwood now. I was going to take a hotel here in uh, Midway because I got a job tomorrow. But hotel's full. So I'll head to Greenwood, get situated there. Maybe take a video of uh, Greenwood, Main Street. Look forward to on the next video. Take care.